Hey guys. I'm sorry if the picture quality is um it's pretty bad. But I wanted to be able to get quite a quite a long video out of this because I'm going hunting. Hunting for mushrooms. Usually I like to come over to this forest and be by myself, but I thought it would be a good little opportunity to talk about some things while I see what I can find. But if you're looking for content, discussion wise, then you're probably in the wrong place because I'm only going to talk about anything that comes into my mind, you know. I've had a few topics that I thought might be worth recording the video about, but you know, then I fought against it, so. Well, you can probably guess that this is, these aren't the kind of mushrooms I'm looking for, but hey, I'm I'm here to appreciate everything I can find, so let's have a look at some of these little things. There's a lot of deer over here, but I don't think they're going to show up on the video because they're going to be off in the distance, you know, they they don't let you get close, but even on the highest settings, they don't seem to get picked up by this camera. It's just my phone, you know. Have a look at this. Look at this beauty. It's funny, they're kind of grotesque really. But um I find fungus fascinating really. It sort of freaks me out a bit, but most of them anyway. Like these ones, you know, they're kind of bulbous and um So she should see what I've got growing in my shed. It's not even like a mushroom, it's just like some thin brown sort of flappy tissue. That's horrible. I want to get my bike out of there and um, it's like emitting mist, like spore mist, which was nice. We've got one that's been eaten by the deer. And one that hasn't. Yeah, that's the bottom of it. Um, hoping to find not pick harvest and eat of course because that would be illegal but find is psilocybin aka magic mushrooms and um, I think I found some last time I was here but there was only like a few of them but I'm not too sure can't be certain now this this looks like a little golf ball um, that looks a lot like a golf ball. That's a golf ball. Okay. Who the hell plays golf over here? I've never seen anyone over here. That's a bit worrying. 
Or they can hear me coming anyway, because I'm sort of talking to myself. <laughs> Okay, last time I found something that looked like that, but it was... It's like a little a little scepter. You know, like the things that kings hold? That's pretty cool. Oh, now this is more like it. Of course, there's not much light in here. It's not a set aside anywhere. It looks the part. I'm a bit out of breath because I cycled here. Which don't normally get me out of breath, but going up the hills when there's cars going past and I've got sort of like light asthma, so you start breathing heavy and then you're breathing in all their fumes. And it's nasty. Sort of the camera work ain't too good because I'm I'm not looking at the screen so <clears throat> but yeah some of the things I was gonna make a video about possibly um <sighs> excuse me do you consider yourself innocent I would assume that my viewers if there's more than one of you are going to be... hang on a minute. Some sort of bird screaming in the background. Having a good scream. Um, yeah, you're probably adults. Or if you're not adults, you're... you know, probably... almost adults. And we talk about innocence, you know, we talk about... well... <clears throat> I think most of us, all but the most cynical of us, would agree that young children have an innocence about them that we don't have. Now where you want to draw that line, that's debatable. But, you know, at some point, very young children describe as having you know, being more innocent than us. And I've thought at times over what exactly that innocence is, where it comes from, how we lose it. If if we're bound to lose it, which for the sake of argument, if it exists, I say we are. Now what, what we often what we often uh, think of it as, or at least involving is sexuality or, or sex itself. No. Sexual interest, having sex, something along those lines. You talk about losing your innocence in that context. But I don't I don't think that being a sexual creature I don't think that that conflicts with being an innocent you know creature life form these ones look pretty nice a few weeks ago they're sort of faded now they were sort of like reddish purplish colour some of them had that perfect shape you know that sort of toadstool shape I digress. <clears throat> now, what I think is that this loss of innocence tends to occur around the same time that we develop sexual interest during adolescence. I wish I could focus manually when I'm in video mode. If 
you're looking for names of these creatures, I can't tell you. I don't know, and it doesn't really matter that much, so they're just interesting. So, I think at some point during our teenage years, we transition into adults, and uh, when we're adults, that's when we lose this innocence. But see, a lot of, I don't know, let's say kids, you know, teens, all right, let's put it this way. If I was to say, when, when is it that I, looking back at my life, when I sort of ceased to be that, you know, innocent? I think it's a gradual thing. I don't think it's overnight. I don't know if there's anything in this world that happens like, you know, like a switch flipping, flicking, whatever. But probably sometime around I don't know, 13 or something. Gradually from like 13 to 15, something like that, maybe a little bit earlier. Um, I think that when there's a small child, let's say there's um, like a five year old or younger, but you know, old enough to have a sort of concept of themselves. Um, you know, they'll tell you all about themselves. I, I did this, I like that, I, you know, I can do this, whatever. They're not um, self-conscious. They don't have this sort of, they don't try to present a preferred version of themselves. They just, uh, they are as they are. You know, they could be embarrassed as in you can make them feel silly if, I don't know, if they got something wrong or, you know, made a mistake and you know, somebody wanted to tease them about it, but, but if you compare that to a 20 year old they're really going to be there's a nice bright spot where the sun comes through the minute you meet the 20 year old they're going to be uh, they're going to be wanting to present a certain version of themselves these ones actually looked really nice as well and now they look pretty, pretty horrible. Looks like they taste pretty horrible as well because it's just had like one nibble and uh, left it at that. I wonder if some of these have effects on the, the animals they don't have on us. Maybe if I drank their piss, it just might work. That's not what we're here for today. So I see that sort of self-consciousness that um, when there's this separation between them as they are, um, I want to say as they are, I just mean if I'm standing here, I don't know, I am, you know, I am whatever's going to follow that. There's an I, you know, just an I. But then there's a separation between that and how they want to be seen. And this happens when we go through puberty. Like when I was in primary school, which would be like um, elementary and then part of middle school. Oh. Oh God. Now. If those were what I was looking for, 
and I don't think they are, then I'd have found a, a lot of them, wouldn't I? They don't have the color the coloration of the magic ones. But they've got a little little nipple on them. And I don't know, maybe the colour sort of changes. You know it's ridiculous. <clears throat> I have to mark this spot somehow. Let's see, can I That's by the tree. Okay, I guess that tree is kind of distinctive. It's got that spiky stump. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, what's ridiculous is you go online trying to find. Um, how to distinguish magic mushrooms from, you know, non-magic mushrooms, uh, particularly poisonous mushrooms. You'd think, with all the interest in psychedelics, infusions, however you prefer to refer to them, that there would be just so much information, so clear and, you know. But I couldn't find one site that had both detailed descriptions and photographs. You know, it's all like descriptions just in, in words alone, like this is like 95 or something. And then if you go on Google image search, you'll find a load of photos, but it might be titled not magic mushroom and it would still come up under image search. So you don't even know if that's what you're looking for. You can find a few pictures, but um, it's really not that easy, which is just weird to me. Well, they're not, you know, mature anyway, so, um, but no, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. What's the underside saying? Let's turn this over. Hmm. Well. I guess I'll have to use some of my data plan and have a little little Google search while I'm out here. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of a way to make sure I can find this again. So there's a spiky stump, and I'm gonna have the the little daylight parts of it. Okay, I got this. So there's that. Um, you know, ah uh, yeah, when I was um, in primary school, so that's like up to age 11, I used to just wear, I'm 28, so, you know, I finished primary school, I was 11 in 96, and fashion was terrible then, and I was probably a bit behind with fashion anyway, so I was sort of wearing, like, just baggy tops and like colourful none of that sort of like plaid stuff that was popular with the sort of grunge scene but just like baggy t-shirts and all stuff like that and I didn't care you know I didn't I thought it was cool and it didn't really matter to me but then I get to secondary school for the first year pretty much the same but then when I turned 12 sometime around that time I um it's become really, really self-conscious. I, you know, I've never been that self-conscious since. But I mean, in school we have school uniform, and that's just standard. That's like, it's not because it's a particular type of school, like a religious school or a private school. Which, by the way, we call private schools public schools over here. So. Uh, this is one time when I use the American terms. 
Oh, I've got some oh, those over here. Oh, this wasn't about when I came last time. Good grief. You know what? That... That's looking pretty damn similar to... Some of them. I just wish I remembered. It's got that sort of like brown coloration. Because the other ones looked a bit too pale. It's not going to come out properly on here, but these are... They've got sort of a... A beige... Beige sort of... What you'd call tan. Not if it looks like... Any sort of tan skin I've ever seen, but you know... And then it's sort of like more brown near the bottom. Oh man, they're everywhere. I'm going to be a happy researcher. You want to talk about entertainment purposes only, I'm going to be very entertained, very educated as well. If they turn out to be um, silly cybins. Maybe I won't have to worry about finding those others. So yeah, um, whatever the type of school it is, we have school uniform. And uh, I think that's a good thing because you're so self-conscious at that age most people you always get some people say like ah oh, I wasn't they're all a bunch of pussies and it's like okay well you're you're the exception most people are self-conscious it's um it's sort of just a, a reaction it's not something you have that much control over really you try to handle it differently but it just just happens and so, we didn't have to wear our own clothes. But, even so, if you met uh, met up with people outside of school, you know, like I did for the first times in that school when I was 12, and, um, you know, I just dressed how I used to dress. I didn't even think of it as, like, you know, just cheap, cheap clothes. Um... Because when I first grew up, we weren't in uh, as, as nice an area as we moved to. And uh, still did some of the shopping there. Well, my mum did. I mean, I was just a, a little kid, but. So, you know, there were some cheap shops and that. And, but I didn't care. So, anyway, and um, then I become really self conscious of it. And, and then that's when you start. Alright, I've got to I've dress. Dress like whatever the style is, or, you know. You don't think of it like I've got to fit in, but you do. It's really, it's you know, you can talk about um, oh, you know, you're just you're following the crowd, and you are. But the reason you're doing it is because you don't want people to be taking the piss out of you all the time. You know, like kids, um, teenagers especially, can be such pricks to each other. You know, in some ways we we're better then, yeah. but. some ways we're sort of just shameless and it's not that we necessarily become nicer of heart if you will we just learn that it won't get you very far by being a, a little cunt to everyone you see but that's what you think will get you far when you're um it probably will probably sort of like fall in with the you know the cool crowd but that develops and not just that, but you know, you become more prone to trying to pass yourself off as something, you know. And conversation. See, I don't know, I think conversation is still quite natural with most teenagers. Um, more so than adults, but... I guess the transition started, you know. Probably not among each other, probably like one year older. I'm thinking like when I'm on uh, on Xbox. You know, you're on voice chat and everything.
I don't know, having said that now, there's tons of people always trying to sort of like put themselves over us. Being badasses. So I'm sort of split. Oh my goodness grief. I wish I could do the the get bigger sound from Mario, but I can't. We have an Amanita Muscaria. <laughs> and something's been having a nibble on that, so. Yeah, happy days. Yeah, I've never seen one of these in the flesh before. If it wasn't sort of like half eroded and nibbled up, I'd have taken that home because it's legal. And if there's anything I respect, it's the judicial process. All right, looks like I might be able to take one home in my mouth though, look at that. Well, there you go, that's in focus. That's awesome, I've got to get that. I said I wasn't going to tell you what things are called, but I don't know. I know a little bit about this one. <sighs> yeah. All right, let me um, let me just put this down. Oh no, we want a bit of action. Let's get that thing out, picking it. It's awkward. I've got a bag in my pocket. Constantly. But what do you know? It's coming handy after. It's a little plastic, but I can't do this one handed. One sec. I'm trying to open it from the wrong end. What a goddess. Okay. Oh, that's what I found the other the other day. It was a mascaria that had, had the the cap eaten off. Cause it was like this, but it just had a white sort of sphere. Oh that's that's already been started on but there's plenty of that left. And here's where it gets educational. See these white spots. It's actually a sort of a film that covers it while it's growing and they're just the remainders of it and the red bits beneath it's also called the fly agaric I don't know how you pronounce it really A-G-A-R-I-C I don't know but yeah they're um, the most famous type of mushroom in the world you know thanks to Things like Alice in Wonderland, the, when she eats the mushroom to get bigger, and then so does Super Mario. Yeah, I mean, humanity's got a long history of relationship with entheogens, consciousness altering plants and herbs and fungi and That's another video. I really want to try to do the mushroom sound, but just make an ass of myself. I mean, I can live with that, but I can't live with doing a bad sound effect. So anyway, uh,
Oh, and another one. That one looks even nicer. I'm doing excellent hunting. That's a good little camera work, but... I'm not getting paid for this anyway. Yeah, I'm not doing the, um... I'm not doing the, uh... Partnership stuff anymore. I sort of took the piss, really. On my end, I mean. I don't like watching adverts, so I shouldn't really expect anybody else to. But I had so many views come in from these trolls, and I thought that would just be really good if I could uh, turn their hating into donating. I was trying to make that one work. This is awesome. Look at these. It's just... They're going in the bag. They're the best ones yet, you know. I've got a good feeling about some of these. This bag is for educational purposes only. I'm going to empty it when I get out. Just in case any of them are illegal. Bad mushrooms, illegal mushrooms. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You're growing out of the ground like you're doing nothing wrong. Make me sick. Some of these are sort of rotten already. So, um, yeah. Well, at least I know what colours they're going to go. Kind of cute, these ones. <laughs> That's perfect, look at that. <coughs> hey, personas, it's the Super Mario Super Show. Yeah, that looks a pretty in the bag. As I had the bad mushrooms, they're the ones that make you smaller. Right, let's actually think for a second here. We've got some fallen, fallen branches, logs, whatever. So, and that's a mossy stump. Okay, and that one's at the bottom of a tree. Now it's another muscaria cap. Crispy and delicious. Nine out of ten deers say yes to mascaria. And the other one's a toss spot.
play out of me at some point. We want to, you know, it's not just we want to impress other people because even it gets to the point where it's not just like, oh, here's a girl I want to impress or whatever. It's like you just, um, you just want to, you, you end up creating this sort of self image. And that's what you, you know, try to make. And I think that's that's when we start to lose our innocence. I think our innocence is just um, the freedom of being comfortable with who we are and being satisfied with who we are, and it not even being. Because as soon as it's a concept, like there's who I am, be myself. As soon as anyone can advise you to be yourself, or you can think. Yeah, should I be myself or something? Then it's already gone, or it's already changing. I think that's at least um, at least a large part of it. Because the sex thing, I don't think like there's kids who have sex, you know. Like, I didn't know, that like, for me, I started getting an interest in, and all of that when I was 14. And, like, from that point, yeah, then people sort of, like, you know, boasting and making claims. But prior to that, I, you know, I guess there were some people who were sort of a bit, a bit early, like, about, you know, a year before me. Um, but there are kids who... Who are having sex like earlier than that, and I would think that if you were to to speak to one of them, that they wouldn't be like like an adult, like like they're somehow they've lost their childness. I think what that's more about is how how we'd prefer to to think of of children, especially of our children. So. The people talking about losing, you know, their innocence and, and that. A child losing their innocence. Yes. More likely to be, um, you know, parents. People with children or grandchildren or whatever. Because they, they can't um, sort of conflate being a child with... Even just having sexual interests, you know, even if they're just, just bashing one out. Or uh, <laughs> for the ladies, I don't know, ha having a good plunge. Um, yeah, I think they sort of think, oh no, they've lost their innocence. But I don't think so. You know, I started at all that when I was like 12, maybe like late 11 or something. And um, I say, I hadn't lost my innocence. I just started to have a chemical reaction to. You know, attractive girls and women. You know, if you present something as decadent, you know, or sinful and all that, then people can start feeling like they're, you know, doing something that they should be guilty of, but. But it doesn't sort of... I don't know, there's no feeling, for me personally, there was no feeling of, you know... When I was like, knocking on 12, thinking, oh, when I was 10... You know, I was a simpler, purer... Child. I see, I think that purity, I think, you know, we think that sex is impure. Our attitude on sex. I should do a video on that so that people actually. Let's face it. Who's going to be watching this far into the video? I could be really condescending and say, if you are, you want to get off the computer, get out of the house. Do any of that. Do what you want. 
I stay indoors a lot of the time, man. I love it outside, you know. I'm a woo, I'm a nature boy. Love me some nature, you know. But I don't have to be out all the time. That's the beauty of not being homeless. And if you are homeless, then just think yourself lucky that you've got a good 3G connection or a nice little Wi-Fi hotspot. Could be worse, you could be on dial-up. Hey, now then. I probably want to cut down on the Jimmy Salve impersonations. I think these crows, I think they just like overstate the point. Like once you've called and you've got your message across, just get a bit closer and then you don't have to shout so much. Oh. Oh, it smells really pungent around here. I think that's probably a good thing. Oh wow. I see a load of deer. About three of them or something, running across. When I was up here hunting, for plants, I mean, I don't hunt animals. Not there's necessarily anything wrong with that, but, um, you see, you see a little bit of movement there? implied deer, I think it's more effective than actually seeing deer, you know, so, um, yeah, I really didn't see half as many mushrooms, so, I've got to go have a pretty short shelf life. See, there's a lot of them going mouldy. I can't get this thing in focus, but anyway, it's, um, it's clearly got that sort of fuzz. I was going to say, our attitudes on sex really uh, warrants a video in itself, of itself, but, you know, most of us, shit, it's the feds, I do love this. wildlife so they're fascinating they're, you know a lot of them are kind of a little bit grotesque some of them are kind of cute but they're fascinating you know Ooh. life and death and uh, fertility and yeah Speaking of fertility, once we become fertile, you know, most of us have an interest in sex, and then you know, most of us go on and uh, you know, have a bit. But we're so awkward about it, and not just the people who are coy, but the people who are sort of um, crude as well. You know, fucking hell, look at the tits on that. It's like, it's got to be... Oh, you know, I'd... Uh, what's it, what Finchy said? Christ, give me half hour that. <laughs> give me half hour that, I'll be up to my knots and guts. You know, it's got to be, like, crude and... nasty. Or it's got to be sort of embarrassed or something, you know. It's not just like... Yeah, we have to eat to survive. It's just one of our um, functions, and you know we have reproductive urges as well. You know, just just normal. It's just never normal, you know. It's like is that deer? No, it's not. <laughs> it's a deer, sort of like just frozen there, standing, looking at me. 
yeah so um it's like we have this puritanical hangover because most people aren't Christian in England it's not to say you know anything about their beliefs to uh, or philosophy on the nature of reality and uh, an existence it's just that you know most of us aren't church going god fearing especially not gay hating we don't have that like like you do in, uh, in America if you're in America United States thereof So most people don't have any real reason to think that sex is sinful or decadent. It's just you know, a lot of it stems from this awkwardness we have with talking about it with our children or with our parents. So then it becomes confined to you know the playground and confined to our peers and this secretive thing as if any of us would be here without it. But it's we're so awkward about it, so you know they don't want their their little angels to have sex like it's you know, I don't know, like oh once they have sex that's it there. Right, see these are similar to the others but they've got a wider cap. Not quite as bowl shaped, it's more sort of a frisbee. It's more like a, one of them novelty flying discs. You see sometimes, you know. You know you see them sometimes, don't you? Flying around. Little novelty discs. And so we mistake sex as being impure and uh, they've lost their purity, they've lost their innocence. So, nah. So that's that, 48 minutes and 12 seconds. We've covered that topic. Oh no, yeah, can you recover your innocence? See, I think you can regain a state where you're not self-conscious. Not completely, I don't think you can ever go back completely, but... But not that complete freedom, you know, I... I find that I've, I've been preferring being behind the camera instead of in front of it because then I'm less uh, I'm less self-conscious less you know sort of uh, trying to present like sort of a conscious effort to to be natural you know like you still have to fight against maybe it's a strong way of putting it but you know you still have to consciously resist an urge to to speak with a, a confidence you know that is sort of self manipulated Animals, here we go, here's a good one. Animals, 
they have this innocence, definitely. They definitely have this innocence. And they're not self-conscious whatsoever. Not even deer, they may be shy, but they're not self-conscious. At least they're not gonna. No, they're not. The cats are interesting because they, they seem to get embarrassed. And they they do get embarrassed, but it's not embarrassed in the way that, that we they're embarrassed of uh, looking weak because it's it's not when they're like licking themselves out. It's when. Um, Sorry, I hope my eyes just caught onto one and I don't... I lost it again. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's when they try to jump up something and they sort of mess it up. So they... They're embarrassed because... They look weak and inadequate. And that's what matters to them. Not public masturbation. I guess it's a form of self-consciousness, but, um, but it's not this sort of abstract, you know, you just want to put yourself across as cool or funny or, you know, smart. It's very practical. You know, they want to show that they're strong, fit and uh, they can fight. But they have an innocence, so they can be, you know, going at it like rabbits. Maybe they are rabbits. Good excuse. And um, and they're still innocent, you know. That's sort of why we see it as less, you know, it's just what they do. It's just just nature being nature. So we don't deny them innocence for having sexual urges and, and all that. So I think it's when we become like you know the kid will sort of just be singing or doing anything and they, they just don't care. Um or some really annoying thing that they find funny and they'll be doing it over and over again, you know, they don't just don't care. A few years later, when they're like 12 or something, they'd be like, oh god, this is so embarrassing, like if you had a video of it. This is so embarrassing. I started to lose that. Just that, that. Simple truth, just, you know. I can't remember what else I was thinking of talking about, so I don't know. just walk around and look at mushrooms. There's one. There's one. Oh, hello. There's another one. And that. Here's one. Here's another one. That's enough of that. Here is a whole family of them. Seem they're related, they look alike anyway. Oh, there's tons of these. I don't actually like mushrooms to eat. I had some uh, fly agaric, amanita muscaria, and um, made a tea out of it. I mean, mushroom tea 
They don't sound good to me. And uh, it, it didn't taste bad, surprisingly. I put a load of lemon in with it. It tasted a bit like, we've got uh, this stuff called Bovril over here. It's a bit like thin gravy that you drink if you were born during World War II or before. I had it at my grandparents when I was young, didn't like it. But seeing as this was a fungus, I thought that weren't too bad. It's got a really sort of like meaty flavour, which is strange. But yeah. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just eat it if I didn't think I was going to be getting anything out of it legally. But that one is legal as a headlock, so so I'll allow it. Seems to be a, a hot spot for them. Underneath the tree trunks. They're all sort of starting to spoil now anyway. seem to be showing up as blue on the camera but they're actually a sort of a violet -y mauve with a hint of fly look not to be confused with purple this is what I love about England there's no bears and we get national healthcare just saying wouldn't mind some wolves because I only recently learned that they don't attack humans they might attack babies but they're, they're not even proper humans really people always stick up for babies but I don't I don't, I don't know I don't think they're all that good toddlers they're just annoying. They're sort of um, just messy and sort of like pudgy looking, is that? Can't even walk properly. But I don't know, once you clear like three or four, then you know, and they can actually talk. And then it's all good. Hmm. Yeah. So these are those ones with the flat, flat caps. So I guess when they're not completely um, developed, they could look like the others, which I'm hoping for research purposes. But they're psilocybins, but my cat person. I ain't got like cat people and dog people. I'm not talking like hybrid mutants, just um 